Today, episode number eight of how to become a film director. Welcome to Simon Says TV. Now today, I'm gonna to show you seven steps to get the best out of every scene. But first, because I like questions, I'm gonna ask you a few questions again. Tell me, who's responsible for making a good movie? Who's responsible if the movie sucks? Who will have to answer all those questions all along the way? And who will have to give the right answer and find the right solution all the time? Who's responsible for that? Who will be the blame if the movie is bad or who will have all the glory if it's good? Well, to all those questions and many more, the answer is always the same. You, the film director. So that's why it's very important to try to make the best you can. And I think the best way to make a good movie is to be well prepared. I think the secret, if there's one, is in the preparation. So be prepared. And how to get prepared? Well, I'm going to tell you how to do that. Step number one, you will have to go and visit every single location prior to shooting. And try to go with your director of photography. Now, he's the next one to be blamed if the movie is not good, at least for the visual aspect of your movie. And most cinematographers, if they're good, if they're a little bit talented, they will care a lot about your movie, as much as you, almost as much as you, because their signature is going to be on the movie also. So they will probably be very glad to go with you on location and visit and look what they will have to work with. Point number two, what you will do is you will look at what you have to work with. Maybe you've seen that place before. If it's in your movie, probably you've seen it before. Maybe it's a long time ago, so maybe it's very different than what you had in mind. So maybe there's a fixed counter somewhere, a fixed thing that, that, that you, you forgot about or it wasn't there. You will have to, you will have to work around, around that. So and look at the furniture that is around. Look, look at the props. Maybe there's a phone call at some moment. Is there a phone nearby that you can use? Maybe you need something else also in the scene. Look at all what is available to you and also look at the sources of light. Is there light on the ceiling, on the wall? Maybe you were expecting a window to shoot with a window in the back. Maybe you were hoping to have the sun in the back window. So try to, to see if it's possible. Ask the owner where the sun rises and where it goes down and try to note at what time is the best time to shoot the scene if you want to have the sun in the back. Now uh, that you've noticed all of that, that you took good note of all of that, we're going to point number three, which is step back and let yourself be uh, submerged by the room. Let yourself be inspired by the room. Look. You've watched it, what was there, okay? You had something, you had a vision in your mind when you wrote your script or when you read it, if you haven't wrote it yourself. And look at what you have to play with. Maybe you will find some new and greater ideas than what you had in mind when you wrote it. Maybe you would say, oh man, I never thought about that, but if it's there, we will use it. Or, damn. I thought there, were, there was a closet in that room and I had a scene where the guy was going to hang his coat in there, but there's no closet, so you will have to change that action in the scene. So try to see, get inspired by the room and take the best out of it and adjust to your vision, the vision you had when you wrote the script. Point number four, take pictures of every shot you intend to make for every scene. That's about the only time I'm going to ask you to work with a zoom lens to save time. Take a zoom lens that will cover all the range of the shots that you want to shoot in the entire movie. So a very wide angle, 18 millimeter and wider probably to 135, something that is around that. Okay, And uh, take pictures and note, try to position yourself at the place you will, you don't need a tripod for that, try to place yourself where you intend to shoot every shot and take note at the reading on the lens. What is the focal length of that uh, you need for that? And do that for every picture 
and uh, match them together. That is going to be your shot list. So you have all you need there on location. You go back home. Now, now when you'll be home, what you will do is you will take your script again and you will have your pictures here, all of them, and you will go through your script again and you will see if it matches together. We saw different things on locations that we had to make some changes according to what's, what is the actual location. So you will have to adjust that. And then you will have something rock solid. You will have what you will shoot. Everything will be, you know, solid. What you will do with that is you will do your storyboard. That part is number six is optional, but it, I, I suggest it strongly. Especially now that you have pictures, you don't have to draw anything if you're not good at it. You have pictures of every single shot you intend to make. The only thing you have to do is cut them, print them, cut them, stick them on, on, on a paper and write down the focal length and a few notes that are uh, important for those particular shots. What you will do with that, you will send that to your actors. Actors love to know in advance where they will have to work and they will let themselves be submerged by that and they will be more comfortable the day of shooting. They will know what they have to do and they will see that it's going to be clear for them. And point number seven, still in regards of your actors, rehearse. And if possible, go back on location with your actors to rehearse. Well, it's not that important to go on location, but if you can, if there's a possibility, if that if locations are available for you, go there and rehearse there. If not, well, try to recreate what you saw on location for them to be um, not too confused the day of shooting. So rehearse with your actors what you just saw on each and every location. That way, you will be very, very productive the day of shooting you will save a lot of time and be, I'm telling you, much, much more productive for sure. So that was it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. And uh, I want to take this moment to thank uh, all my new subscribers. And for those who haven't done so, please subscribe. Thank you also for all your comments, for your likes, for sharing. Um, I I'm very touched by your, um, your, your support here. And please let me know in the comment down below if you still want some more of those tutorials. I want to know if I should keep on going or if you've had enough already. So give me some feedback, okay? And uh, in the meantime, well, um, I'll work on the next one and see you next time. Bye.